Hello and welcome back to the Super Data Science How to Make a Chatbot series, part two, setup. In this video, we're mainly gonna focus on getting everything set up, get everything installed, and getting you ready to start coding, start inputting the code and to incorporating the data. But again, focusing on just getting set up. So first thing is first, you will need to download Anaconda. You can download Anaconda for your preferred platform, Windows, Mac, and Linux. And if you go to the continuum.io slash downloads, you will find the links to get it set up and downloaded. Now, once you have Anaconda downloaded and set up, we're going to be working out of Jupyter Notebooks. Now, on the main page, you can launch your Jupyter Notebook. Be sure when you launch your notebook, you choose the environment that you're going to be working in. We're going to go into that a little more right now. So now you will move into the Environments tab, which I highly recommend that you set up a contained environment, set up a different environment, and set up Python 3 within it. That way we can install our packages and every other uh, requirement that we are going to use. It will be completely contained and it will not cause you any conflicts in any of your other environments or on your machine. So again, environments to create, create a new environment that we can download everything into. If you're looking for some additional information about managing packages, please visit the Anaconda, or Kana.io, Managing Packages section. It'll go over with you how to set up within specific environments, and it will give you a well-rounded approach in general on setting up packages within Anaconda. The documentation is great. Again, if you have any questions, let us know. Now, moving on, we also need to download TensorFlow. Now, in downloading TensorFlow, you can go to tensorflow.org and find the installation links. So, for installing on Mac would be tensorflow.org slash install slash install underscore Mac but you can also find Ubuntu and Windows. Again, usually it tends to recommend uh, PIP for installation. I highly recommend using Anaconda just because it's easier to set up in your contained environment. I've seen a few people run into problems when they install other packages modules using PIP, just if they're not careful in placing it in the correct environment. Because if you do contain, if you do download it and set up your contained environment, you want everything path to that environment as well. So again, I recommend installing with Anaconda, but you can choose the option that best suits you. We just have to make sure that it is installed and can run from your environment. Okay, so we have TensorFlow set up and that was a requirement to getting TFLearn installed. So please see the information on the screen to get TFLearn set up. We do have to use pip to install it, but on the next screen, you will see information on how to manage installations within specific environments, please see this link for more information on working with your environments within Anaconda. Now, once you have TensorFlow installed as well, we can work on our import functions. Now, if you follow here, we're just gonna import a few couple things, import of S, import pickle for serialization. Now, this has to do with more natural language processing. We'll touch on that in the next video. We won't go too far into it, but pickle is gonna be used to load the data. And we need to also import from six moves, and we also need to import tflearn. Now, tflearn is probably the most important thing because that's going to be mainly what we're going to be using to run this project. But import tflearn again, you need TensorFlow first. And if you're looking to familiarize yourself with tflearn, again, I highly recommend taking a look at the GitHub repository and also following the steps for installation and the tflearn in general documentation. If you have any questions, please let us know. This setup is usually pretty quick, um, nothing too complicated, but again, little errors do tend to pop up when you're installing packages and modules. It's not a problem. Great job getting everything set up and getting all the installation requirements taken care of. We're ready to move on to the next video in our series. Remember to subscribe to the Super Data Science channel to get valuable content delivered every week. And also, don't forget to like, share, and comment on the video below. Let's move on building the next part of our chatbot.